Hi there, in today's video we're gonna talk about the airplane lights. We will gonna look at the navigation lights, at the anti-collision lights, and then I'm gonna show you when you should switch on a navigation lights, anti-collision lights, or all the lights that you've got on board. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriele from pilotclimb.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider do so because I'm doing lots of new contents every week. So if you subscribe, you will not miss the next one. Depending on the aircraft, okay, whether it's a Boeing 747 or a Cessna 172, you might have different uh, light complexity, okay? The 747 has a lighting system that is a lot more complex than a Cessna 172, for example. But the navigation lights and the anti-collision lights, they follow pretty much the same principle. So once you know how to recognize the navigation lights or anti-collision lights, you will be able to spot these lights regardless of the type of the aircraft, okay? Let's talk about the navigation lights. The navigation lights, also known as a positioning lights are the classic lights that you see on the plane, okay? So they are located on the wing tips of your plane and they are located on the tail of the plane, okay? So on the left wing tip you have a red light, on the right wing tip you have a green light and on the tail of the plane you've got a white light, okay? So the angle of these lights are respectively on the lights on the wing tips, so the uh, red and the green lights are 110 degrees and the white light on the tail of the plane is 140 degrees. Okay, so these are the navigation lights. A uh, Cessna 172 will have this sort of configuration. On the Boeing 737, however, when you switch on your positioning lights or your navigation lights, you will have an additional two steady white lights on the wingtips. Okay, so these lights are there in order to make sure that the, the people see you, okay, when they, you navigate. And also, the people that are actually approaching your aircraft can see what's your what's your uh, direction and if you're approaching from the front or going away because if there is an aircraft that is approaching you you will see a red and a green light however if an, the, an aircraft is going away from you you will only see a white light because you will see the light that is on the on the tail of the plane okay as well as if an aircraft is approaching you left to the right, you will see in that case a green light and vice versa is true. If an aircraft is flying in front of you going from the right to the left, you will see a red light. On top of the navigation and position lights, we've got the anti-collision lights. Okay, the anti-collision lights, in, in the anti-collision lights, we have the red strobe flashing lights, okay, that depending on the aircraft, for example, I think on the Piper 28, on the Cessna 172, they are located on the rudder, okay, of the plane, but on the commercial jets, such as the Airbus 320, the Boeing 737, they are located on top of the fuselage and on the bottom of the fuselage, okay? These lights, you will see that are red, red flashing lights okay and these lights are very important to switch them on anytime you're moving your plane you need to switch on these lights because you need to inform the ground personnel that the aircraft is moving or the engines are starting okay on top of these red flashing lights we've got the white strobe flashing lights that are located on each wingtip and on the tail of the plane so as you can see okay anytime you switch on all the lights the navigation lights and anti-collision lights you're gonna have two in the case of the Boeing 737 you will have two red lights, okay, on, located on the top of the fuselage and the bottom of the fuselage that are flashing. You're gonna have on the left uh, wing tip a red light and a white steady light. The red and the white steady lights are the navigation and positioning lights. And then you're gonna have another white strobe flashing lights on the left wing tip. And this same applies to the right wing tip where you're gonna have a fixed green and white light as a navigation and positions light. And then you're gonna have the anti-collision light, which is the strobe, the white strobe flashing light. And then on the tail, you're gonna have a white strobe flashing light and a white fixed light, okay? So as you can see, we can actually divide these two types of lights into the navigation lights and into the anti-collision lights, depending on the operations that you are doing, okay? Depending on the phase of flight, you want to switch on one light or another one, okay? You want to switch on the anti-collision light, you want to switch on the navigation light, so you want to switch on all of them, okay, depending on the phase of the flight, okay. So in the case of the Boeing 737, we, uh, we have, before starting the pushback, the navigation lights are on, okay. When we start the pushback, we switch on the anti-collision light because we need to 
uh, inform the, the ground crew that we are moving and by switching the anti-collision light we only switching on the red flashing light that is located on the top and on the bottom of the fuselage okay we start the pushback we start the engine and then when we start the the taxi okay we switch on the runway turn off and the taxi lights okay these lights these runway turn off and taxi lights are there to help the pilots to see the taxi lines and to see the taxiway or any other obstacle that you can find around because i can assure you that the taxi sometimes depending on the airport is the most critical part of the flight okay and when we are here for takeoff and landing we switch on the landing light the landing lights are very powerful lights that you can see them from very far away okay and we use them as soon as we get clear for takeoff or landing we switch them on okay and but why we switch them on we switch them on for many reasons but the most important reasons are that they increase the visibility because the light is uh, it's very powerful so you can see better the runway center line for example but on top of that they actually send a message to the other aircraft because let's say you are on the holding point ready for takeoff you think you are here for takeoff before entering the runway you check the final if you see on final that there is an aircraft with the landing lights on you might want to challenge the air traffic controller because if that guy has got the landing lights on means that it's being clear for landing okay and if it's being clear for landing you cannot be clear for takeoff so as you can see, it's another way to, to send a message to the other aircraft that you've been clear for landing or for takeoff, okay? And once we are clear for takeoff, we actually switch on the flashing strobe lights, okay? The anti-collision light that we discussed at the beginning of the video, okay? So we switch them on. So once we are getting clear for takeoff, we actually have all the lights on, okay? Then we keep all these lights on until pretty much 10,000 feet. About 10,000 feet, since there is no, uh, the, the risk of air collision is less, we start to switch off some lights, okay? But but at all that time we've got throughout our flight from from the from the takeoff roll all the way down to the landing we always have the navigation lights on and the anti-collision lights on so the red uh, flashing strobe light is located on the fuselage and then the, f the flashing white uh, strobe lights that are located on the wingtips and on the tail of the plane so i hope you like this video about airplane lights and you now understand the difference between uh, the navigation lights and the anti-collision lights if you have any question leave a comment below and then i will help you out also go to paroclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content i wish you a great day and i'll see you on the next one